Hello pool players, Ron here. Welcome once again to the Pool Student Channel and thank you very much for watching everyone. Today's video is going to be on the importance of maintaining a loose grip. And there's two parts to the grip. It's not only cradling our cue with our fingers, but it's also keeping our wrist, wrist limber so that when we go through the shot, we can generate power with finesse. We want the cue to do the work, not our arm or not our hand, okay? That's the point I'm trying to make here. So what I've got here is I've got a Nick Varner nine ball drill. You can set this up just like I have it, or you can set up any way you want in numerical order. Uh, this is not like the original Nick Varner drill, just so that you know, but that's okay. We're working on the mechanics of our pool stroke right now, and it doesn't really matter where the balls are. Like I say, you can set them up wherever you want. First shot is a stop shot straight in. Maintain a real loose grip, set it up nice and straight. Loose grip, stop shot, loose wrist as well. Go straight through the cue. Perfect. No side rotation on that cue ball, that was excellent. Loose fingers here. Just need a little angle on the three, we're okay. Little angle on the four. Don't want to be on that rail, but that's okay. I can get there now. In this case, I'm going to place a lot of side spin, a little low as well. Here, I want to play a good angle on this seven or this six ball to get to the seven. got a little straight. Yep, I did. I'm going to have to draw it back to get this angle that I need to get to the seven to get to the eight. That required good action on my fingers, very loose fingers there. I needed to have an angle on the seven, which I do have. I'm going to stun it to get shape on this eight. And now I gotta go from the eight to the nine. Depends on how I wanna do this. I'm a little close to the cushion. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna play a little bit of top left. A little stun. All of this is done with loose fingers, loose wrist. And that's how you do it. It's so important to maintain this. Now let's take a close up look at my hand as I come through the shot. As you notice, I'm holding the cue very lightly with just two fingers and a thumb. My last two fingers on my hand are not at all touching the cue. And actually, in my case, I really use my middle finger and thumb to drive through the shot. So let me explain the importance of gripping the cue lightly. In my case, if I grab the cue, I will actually rotate it and pull it offline as I come through the shot. When I pull it offline, I'll often miss the ball I'm trying to pocket. It's simple as that. By maintaining a loose grip for me, I'm able to deliver the cue on a straighter line. Now let's take a close up look from the side of my grip hand. Now, one of the things you can't see too well here is that my index finger doesn't actually hold on to the cue during the forward motion. Now, I'm going to show you in a couple of strokes here how I release my index finger and point down the shaft of the cue. This was shared with me by one of my subscribers where a pro had made a video talking about how they release their index finger and actually point down the shaft of the cue. This is interesting, so I tried it, and it does not affect my shot, so you guys might want to try that as well. And maybe it'll give you that sensation that I feel as I stroke through the shot by maintaining my loose grip. It's gonna help you. 
give it a try. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. I answer every one. Thanks for watching, and until next time, like I always say, keep on practicing.